Well, thanks for logging on. Meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook here with a check of the tropics for your Saturday as we are in peak season and we have a few areas to keep an eye on over in the Atlantic as well as in the Gulf of Mexico. Starting off with what is Invest 96L. It's a small cluster of some showers and some storms. Has a low chance of any development and any significant development is not expected as this will remain over open waters. Over to the south and southeast of that, we have just another disturbance that will be a tropical wave moving off the coast of Africa sometime Sunday into Monday and that will be moving westward and as it does so it will have a chance for some gradual development over the next seven days with a medium chance as it moves generally west in the central and eastern Atlantic sometime later this week what top depression could be uh, forming by then but plenty of time to watch that one as well. However, closer to home, we have an area of, uh, to watch closely over this upcoming week as there is a high chance now, a 70% chance of development over the next seven days. And so I want to point out and notice there really isn't all too much right down in the Caribbean right there of any showers and some storms or any little disturbance located there just yet. Yeah, we got some st uh, storms just south of Jamaica, but our disturbance really hasn't formed yet. So over the next two days, notice there is a 0% chance of development. So once we get a disturbance to form sometime by early to mid portion of next week, then we'll be tracking that closely to see where it goes from beyond there. And notice as well, the area outlined in red here, that is the developmental zone. The chance or the area where development is possible, not necessarily a track of the system. So anywhere in that red, we could see a tropical depression form, although it seems a little bit more likely we may see one form in the northwestern Caribbean and then moving off somewhere in the more general northerly direction. So I want to show you a couple of the model runs, uh, the GFS American model and our in-house Baron 15K model in the green there. Notice by the time we get toward later into next week here about Wednesday or so, we start to see a little bit more of these uh, kind of contours closing off there and that kind of counterclockwise uh, direction. And so these two models are painting maybe a low developing sometime in the northwestern Caribbean again not until about Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Now how, when, and where a low develops will have huge implications on any potential track down the line. A quickly developing low may have a form of a tendency to move toward the eastern Gulf of Mexico. If it's a little bit more weaker and a little bit slower to develop or more so off to the west, it may be moving more so into the northern Gulf of Mexico and there are even some solutions on some the ensemble members that show it moving a little bit more often to the more westerly direction. So still plenty of uncertainty on where exactly a track of a low may take. It's all going to depend on when and where that low forms. And the reason for that is the overall setup of this uh, coming work week. We'll have the Central American Gyre, the CAG, set up over the Central American uh, uh, landmass here. And what that basically is, is a large, broad area of some lower pressure in a counterclockwise general flow in the atmosphere. And so that increases the moisture and increases the chance for uh, thunderstorms over the region. And what this can do sometimes is close off an area of spin or counterclockwise flow and spit off lows, sometimes on the eastern side or into the eastern Pacific or even into the Gulf of Mexico. So what we think is going to happen is that we'll see a low developing somewhere in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico off of this. But again, still a little bit of uncertainty on where exactly that low is going to develop as well will have, of course, big implications on any potential future track of any low that does develop. So what we know now is that tropical development is a little bit more likely over the mid to late portion of next week. So talking Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Now there is still uncertainty on the on the specifics of any track or any strength of any potential storm. So it's way too early for those fine details, but we're looking at a time frame sometime, maybe th uh, Friday of Saturday for any potential land impacts by then. But here in Louisiana, there's no immediate threat right now, but anywhere from about Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and even to Florida, we'll have to keep a close eye on this forecast as we go into this upcoming work week, as we continue to monitor the topics for you. And I wanna show you another graphic as well. We're still in that about six day plus out range so it's still too soon for most decisions as we don't even have a disturbance out there yet. And because of that, there is no area of low pressure developed yet, which means 
Uh, every model run that does get run will be kind of guessing on where that low forms and then taking it on northward from there. And so don't believe all the forecast models you may be seeing on social media of those doomsday forecasts or that you may be seeing on social media. Keep an eye on the official forecast, of course, from us in the National Hurricane Center as we go into this upcoming work week. So as uh, from this time frame, we look at more so the identif uh, to identify formation zones and typical lead times and, of course, save your emotion energy for later. So still plenty of time to watch this no immediate threats but we want to keep an eye on this very closely as we go into this upcoming work week and of course if anything does develop we'll be here to let you know on air and online at brproud.com so stay tuned to that and for the storm talker team i'm meteorologist brandon lashbrook